This event includes forward-looking statements about our strategy, outlook, performance, and other topics that are based on our current expectations and subject to risks and uncertainties. Please refer to the press release and our SEC filings at intc.com for more information on the risk factors that could cause actual results to differ materially. We announced the formation of Accelerated Computing Systems and Graphics, AXG in short, as a business unit Q3 last year. Today, I'll give you a good view of the growth focus of this business unit, our strategies, where we are on execution, and what to expect in the planning horizon. This is a quick summary of what I'm going to cover today. The proliferation of AI and our pursuit of pervasive immersive experiences is driving incredible demand for compute from endpoints to data centers. I'll briefly touch on our incredible technology foundation and the new strategy that unleashes that. But I'll spend most of my time giving you a peek into our execution and our plans to approach $10 billion of revenue by 2026. Intel has been at the center of last two big cycles of digital computing-led disruption that changed the way we live, work, socialize, and entertain forever. At the heart of the immense disruption led by Moore's Law is this notion of democratization of compute, which in my simple words is making a lot of compute available without friction to a lot of people. With the ascent of the PC with x86 technology, we began to digitize everything, generating information consumable by everyone, over a billion connected devices. We now think of that phase as Web 1.0. Then came the mobile and cloud era, where we connected everyone, enabling the world to not just consume, but to create and share information throughout their day-to-day -day lives with 10 billion cloud-connected devices and services that we can summon with a few finger taps for all our existential needs. This phase that we call Web 2.0 profoundly changed the way we live forever. And now, with the advent of AI, ubiquitous sensors, and technologies at the edge, we are entering the pervasive intelligence era, where over 100 billion edge devices will enrich our lives in even more ways than we can imagine, empowering everyone to consume, create, and own their IP. During this era, zeta-scale computing will be accessible to everyone on the planet. While the democratization of core computing change the way we live our physical lives, we have also been in relentless pursuit of simulating virtual experiences. We made great advances in computer graphics and gaming, media and analytics accelerations, and AI supercomputing technologies that enabled us to pursue our desire to simulate digital immersive experiences with real-time photorealism, full sensory immersion, intelligence avatars and bots, and simulation of virtual economies, eventually this notion of metaverse, where we can lead alternate lives with superpowers not available in real world. This desire to simulate everything results in an insatiable demand for computing power, which is productively achieved by augmenting general purpose CPUs with GPUs and other accelerators that can deliver order of magnitude performance efficiency in specific workloads. If we look at this conceptually, we see core computing, the job traditionally done by our x86 CPU, digitizing, connecting, empowering, as continuing to grow, meeting these existential needs to empower everyone. You'll hear through the day our strategies in this space from my colleagues. I'll be talking about accelerated computing with technologies such as high bandwidth CPUs, GPUs that power HPC, AI, media, and gaming supercomputers, and ultimately virtual economies and metaverses. With the technology investments and the big bets that Pat has made, Intel is extremely well positioned to usher the world into petascale at the endpoints, exascale edge, and zeta scale data centers by 2027, enabling your 
favorite imagination of metaverses and access to zeta scale computing. Meta to zeta, as I would like to call it. This growth opportunity is not new. Back in 2012, we saw about a $7 billion total market, which we expect will have grown more than 10x to $85 billion by the end of this year. But more impressively, we expect the current way of ubiquitous computing and connectivity, AI, metaverses, and other converging hardware and software technology trends to drive that to 155 billion TAM over the next four years, by 2026. Intel participates in this TAM with our core CPU products, but has largely not focused on the high-performance accelerator opportunities until now. Now let me zoom in a bit on our focus to rapidly grow here. While there is total opportunity of $155 billion TAM, our focus is on the $100 billion opportunity in silicon platforms. Our strategy is to openly collaborate and participate with the ecosystem for the remaining $55 billion, being in system software and services. This is in sharp contrast to the approach taken by our key competitor today. They aim to eat into the ecosystem. While their closed proprietary approach may have some short-term benefits, we don't believe a closed approach is scalable in the long run for this large an opportunity. To capitalize on this opportunity, we have created the Accelerated Computing Systems and Graphics Group. Our group breaks this opportunity down into three segments. First, visual compute, covering gaming, content creation, and emerging metaverse opportunities, which we estimate to be about 25 billion by 2026. Second, the fastest growth segment, supercompute. High-performance computing, or HPC, takes advantage of CPUs and GPUs to power supercomputers to scientifically simulate our world from sub-micron levels to the entire galaxy. These architectures are also leveraged for training and deploying large-scale AI models. With the amount of video we create and consume every second, Media supercomputers are a huge opportunity as well. This segment should see about a $45 billion TAM with a 23% annual growth rate. And finally, custom compute, which builds tailored products for emerging workloads such as blockchain, supercomputing at the edge, premium infotainment in cars, immersive displays, and more. Collectively, these three lines of business are expected to deliver nearly $10 billion of revenue for Intel in 2026. While this looks like an ambitious 10x growth, it only represents a modest single-digit share of the overall market available to us. Key factors that help us reach our targets are predictable execution of our silicon roadmap, securing consistent manufacturing capacity, momentum of the software ecosystem, and continued breakthrough technology innovations. You'll see progress in our execution and a closer look at our roadmap through the rest of the day. We are unleashing Intel's expansive and enviable portfolio of IP to help accelerated computing. From our advanced process technology roadmap to packaging, to new memory and interconnect, our x86 architectures, and a rich set of open software tools, libraries, drivers, and operating systems. But that wasn't sufficient for where we want to go. Our new XC architecture supercharges our core foundation, delivering a three orders of magnitude increase in compute density. We have also developed additional acceleration IP for HPC and AI. But to achieve the acceleration scale with flexibility and agility, we needed new approaches that unlocked our IP potential. With IDM 2.0, we have unlocked the breadth of the external ecosystem to augment the power of our internal IP portfolio. This enabled AXG to leverage capacity from both internal and external nodes. AXG is key to Intel's flex capacity strategy. We now have a compelling executable and more importantly, supplyable product roadmap, 
with no wafer left behind. So now, let me dive into our product strategy segment by segment, starting with visual compute. We have an amazing install base of over 1 billion units of our integrated graphics platform that we support regularly with our software releases. We ship over 200 million new units of these every year, enabled by our exemplary scale platform engineering capabilities in our CCG business unit. Our strategy is to build upon this advantage and augment it with much higher performance ARC discrete GPUs. We also developed a technology called DeepLink that enables software to seamlessly take advantage of our CPU integrated graphics and ARC discrete graphics simultaneously, delivering additional performance workload acceleration and improved experiences across a range of usages and applications. The scale of the Intel platform makes DeepLink an exciting development for the entire PC content creation and gaming ecosystem. This year, with Alder Lake and Raptor Lake platforms, we'll be launching our first generation of ARC discrete GPUs, codenamed Alchemist. Zooming in on Alchemist, we have had a very enthusiastic response from partners, already capturing over 50 design wins across top OEMs and add-in card vendors. And we also have over 100 software partners that are optimizing their games and applications, as well as integrating new functionality and features, like Deep Link Acceleration and XE Super Sampling or XESS, which enables high-quality rendering at fluid frame rates. Our partners will be shipping ARC notebooks in Q1, add-in cards in Q2, and workstations in Q3 of this year. We expect to ship over 4 million units of discrete GPUs during 2022. Looking ahead, over the next two years with Battle Mage as well as Meteor Lake, we will cover additional market segments, reaching all the way into enthusiast class of GPUs. Meteor Lake is a brand new architecture that will enable tiled GPUs to be integrated on a 3D package. This is super exciting as this allows us to offer discrete graphics class performance with the efficiency of integrated graphics. This is a new class of graphics. You can't really call it integrated or discrete. And this is just the beginning of the strategic advantages that this tiled architecture will give us. We will talk more about this in the future. Going beyond, we are already working on our celestial architecture with the goal of performance leadership in every segment we participate in, from low-power mobile to high-performance workstations. This incredible personal computing platform serves as a formidable foundation for the compute layer. We are taking it one step further with launching a software infrastructure initiative called Endgame this year. Endgame will enable users and developers access to Arc GPUs as a continual compute service, an always available, low latency, persistent, immersive infrastructure. We'll be sharing more details of Endgame later this year. With the combination of our silicon platforms along with Endgame, we envision that Intel and PC platform will continue to thrive as we usher in the metaverse. Let me now talk about the market opportunities and our plans for media supercompute. Video accounts for over 80% of the global internet traffic today and continues to grow at an unprecedented pace. This is driving significant demand for compute resources for video processing in the data center. Xeon platforms have been the backbone for all video processing over the internet for a long time. The quality per bit achieved with CPU encoders is unmatched by any other fixed function solutions, making Xeon irreplaceable for encoding premium content you all enjoy on popular streaming services. More than the hardware, the Xeon platform has an immense software advantage with an open ecosystem 
We have broad support for all the popular media tools, APIs, frameworks, and applications optimized for x86. As user-generated content and live streaming continues to explode, demand for solutions that support tons of media streams in real time, packed in high-density, high-performance-per-watch servers, capable of not only encoding and decoding the streams, but also rendering and analyzing the streams, is exploding as well. Media transcode needs, along with cloud gaming, real-time media analytics, and virtualization, are all being addressed by several discrete chips today. There is no seamless hardware-software media solution that collectively addresses quality, density, and latency requirements until now. We built the Arctic Sound MGPU to address this gap, a media supercomputer with leadership transcode quality and performance, high-density desktop and cloud game streaming, along with 150 trillion operations per second AI analytics engine. Currently, it is the industry's only open source media solution stack for streaming cloud gaming, and analytics. Arctic Sound also brings the industry's first hardware AV1 encoder in a GPU, which provides over 30% bandwidth improvement at same quality, saving significant TCO while providing a high-quality experience. We will be shipping this product later this year. Now, moving on to the rapidly growing supercompute segment. More than 85% of the world's supercomputers are based on Xeon processors. Billions of lines of code are optimized for it, including the world's most important HPC and AI applications. This platform offers an incredible starting point for us to launch from. Our strategy is to build on this foundation and extend this to even higher compute and memory bandwidth. First, we are bringing high bandwidth memory, or HBM, integrated into the package with the Xeon CPU, offering GPU-like memory bandwidths to CPU workloads. This offers many CPU applications as much as 4x more memory bandwidth, and they don't need to make any code changes to get benefit from this. On top of that, we will supercharge our compute density in the Xeon platform with Ponte Vecchio moving us into petaflop-scale computing in a single package. Combining Ponte Vecchio with Xeon HBM is great from a hardware perspective, but equally important is bringing a way to seamlessly and transparently take advantage of that hardware technology with the existing base of Xeon HPC and AI software. That is where our One API open ecosystem comes into play. We architected one API to leverage the Xeon software ecosystem seamlessly, allowing software developers to work across a range of CPUs and accelerators with a single code base. By making one API an open ecosystem, we move beyond the barriers of closed proprietary programming environment that current GPU accelerators use in HPC and AI. We expect tremendous momentum in developer adoption of our open approach this year as Xeon, HPM, and PVC get more accessible to everyone. Now, for some more color on the super impressive products we are launching this year. We are sampling Xeon, HPM products to our customers today and are on track to ship this product second half this year. We are already seeing incredible performance on memory-bound workloads on these samples. Here is an example that demonstrates why we are so excited about this product. Computational fluid dynamics is one of the applications which benefit from memory bandwidth performance. CFD is routinely used today in wide variety of HPC disciplines and industries, significantly reducing product development time and cost. We tested OpenFoam, a leading open source HPC workload for CFD, on a pre-production Xeon HBM system. As you can see, it performs significantly faster than our current generation Xeon processor which is already very competitive. Now, let's talk about Ponte Vecchio, for which I'm sure you are all eagerly waiting for an update. 
onto Vecchio GPUs designed to take on the most challenging AI and HPC workloads. We are on track to deliver this GPU for Aurora Supercomputer program later this year. We are making steady progress on this product, and we are excited to show some early leadership performance results on this GPU. Financial services is another industry that benefits from accelerated computing. Customers continuously juggle to meet demands due to changes in regulations as well as increased complexity of the instruments. Black-Scholes, Monte Carlo, and binomial option pricing are key benchmarks used for derivative pricing and risk analysis. We ran this benchmark in our Wall Street validation labs, testing on pre-production units, and are very pleased to show significant performance improvement or the best solution in the market today. And that's all just in 2022. We have follow-on products for Xeon HBM and PVC in 2023 coming as well. Now let's take a look at where we are going for the future. We are working on a brand new architecture code named Falcon Shores. Falcon Shores will bring x86 and XE GPU acceleration together into Xeon socket, taking advantage of next generation packaging, memory, and IO technologies, giving huge performance and efficiency improvements for systems computing large data sets and training gigantic AI models. We expect file controls to deliver more than 5x performance per watt, more than 5x compute density increase, and more than 5x memory capacity and bandwidth improvement, all in a single socket with a vastly simplified GPU programming model. Falcon Shores is built on top of an impressive array of technologies you have heard from Ann and Pat, including the Angstrom error process technology, next generation packaging, new extreme bandwidth shared memory being developed by Intel, and industry leading I.O. We are super excited about this architecture as it brings acceleration to much broader range of workloads than the current discrete solutions. We mentioned exaflops when we talked about Aurora Supercomputer. But let's talk now about the future of computing with Zetascale, 1000x over exa. Beginning with the technology foundation we have today, we need significant revolutionary gains in architecture, in power efficiency and thermal management, in process and packaging technology, and in memory and I.O. capacity and bandwidth, all supporting rapid evolution of the software applications that run on top. We have our advanced technology teams already on their way with inventions to pave the path to Zeta scale. And for me, that makes this absolutely the most exciting time to be at Intel. The accelerated computing group will be the first adopter of these technologies. So with both visual compute and supercompute, we have an exciting hardware and software roadmap with product shipping this year. We also have a third AXG group, Custom Computing, that takes advantage of those technologies. We didn't talk about Custom Compute today, but it will unlock additional market opportunities, including blockchain acceleration, which was announced recently. We'll also be shipping our first blockchain products later this year and announce custom design wins when ready. Accelerated computing is an exciting growth opportunity for Intel. We are energized with the new vision and strategy that Pat laid out for us. And we are executing with focus to deliver $10 billion of revenue in 2026, while paving the path from Meta to Zeta. Thank you.